हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक भद्रक आर मैसेज असीमा बारी फैकल्टी ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथ एंड साइंस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच अबाउट इंजीनियरिंग फिजिक्स एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन व्हाट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन फर्स्ट ईच बॉडी इन द यूनिवर्स attracts every other body with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them what is the statement says that each body if in the universe if one body has mass m1 and another body has mass m2 then the body which has mass m1 will attract That body which has mass m2 with a force which is directly proportional to what product of their masses product m1 into m2 and second is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them f inverse proportional to square of distance r is our distance between between the masses. Then the statement said that each body in the universe attracts every other body. So first body is m1, which is mass m1. Second body mass m2. Then the force is attractive force. Always gravitational force is attractive force. That F directly proportional to m1 into m2. The mass of the body m1 into m2. And inverse proportional to square of distance. R is our distance between mass m1 into and mass m2. If we combine these two forces, then we can write F directly proportional to m1 m2 by r square. Then, if I want to omit this proportionality symbol, then we can equal. Then we can add a constant. M1 M2 by R square. Here, here capital G is our universal gravitational constant. Universal gravitational constant. Why it is universal? Because the value of G is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square or kg square. This value is constant. In the universe, wherever or wherever you go, the value of G will not change. That means the value is constant. That's why the capital G name name is universal gravitational constant. This is our gravitational force F equals to G M1. We have studied gravitational force, which is F equals to G M1 M2 by R square. This is our formula for gravitational. Force where G is our universal gravitational constant. The value is six point six seven into ten to the power minus eleven newton meter square for kg square. This is a universal because the value of G will not change in anywhere. That's why its name is universal gravitational constant. Then we will study about definition of G, capital G, universal gravitational constant. Your F equals to G M1 M2 by R square. If we will take mass M1 equals to M2 equals to one unit, that may be one kg or one gram or one pound. And radius or distance is one unit, that may be one meter or one centimeter or one feet, depending upon the system, MKS or CGS or FKS. Then What will be the value of F? F equal to capital G. That means gravitational force is equal with universal gravitational constant. Where the condition is mass. Mass will be one unit and radius distance between the mass is one unit. Then we will have gravitational force is equal with gravitational constant. Then we will Let us define G as universal gravitational constant. Each defined as the gravitational force. That means 
G would be equal with gravitational force. When the two bodies have unit mass and they are kept at a distance of one unit. That means if we will take mass of the two body is one unit, that may be unit may be kg or gram or pound or radius and that is distance between the two body will be 1 meter or 1 centimeter or 1 feet depending upon the system then we will have gravitational force is equal with universal gravitational constant that is universal gravitational constant is defined as the gravitational force between the two unit masses two unit masses when they 